dining car? That's fancy. That's fucking fancy. Y'all are fucking fancy! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And welcome to Hatred, an isometric shooter that has caused uh, quite a bit of political faux pas. Yes. My name is not important. Rumble Stiltskin. What is important is what I'm going to do. What are you gonna do? I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. That's a pity. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. Need a hug? And I always wanted to die violently. Oh, I can help you this with that too. This is the too. time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. Oh shit! He's the Edge Lord! Lord of the Edge! Die! 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 It's amazing to me how a game like Rockstar, or a company like Rockstar, can make a game that's basically identical. Uh, but for some reason this is... This is too far! I do basically the same thing in GTA and Hotline Miami. All the time. And people want to take the moral high ground, and they're just like, Well, they're... they're pixelated civilians, so you can't! And it's like, dude, please. Please. Kill your TV. <laughs> please? I've never seen anybody in fucking Hotline Miami do fucking gangster shit, aside from maybe cook some meth. But does that deserve, uh, people getting their heads stomped in? Probably not. Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather die together. Oh my god, the cheese factor is off the charts. Oh. Hey! Don't fucking touch me! I'm gonna go over here. There are various objectives on the map, um, which you kinda need to hit up in order to get more weapons. There's not a huge variety of weapons in this game. I think four at the most, and then the grenades. Hey! I'm coming in here! Oh. Well first I guess I'll fucking explode the wall. <laughs> That's one way to do it! Everybody's dead! Fucking dead! The AI leaves a lot to be desired, obviously. They're fucking running into the kitchen where gunshots are coming from. Hey! Don't just stand here. Execute him. Need some health. Yeah! Party's wasted. Party's over! Everybody go home! This party was fucking bogus, man. Get on the floor. I need your life force. It's like Highlander. Except with guns. And... Well, not cheesy dialogue. The dialogue's about the same, as far as the cheese factor. Shotgun! 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 They're just kind of all standing around. Oh, I hope he doesn't shoot me next! Oh my god. Possible homicide? I'm pretty sure it's a homicide. I guess, uh, police station's where we're going next. Let's get in this vehicle. Vehicles do have a separate health bar displayed on the bottom. And they do explode eventually if they get hit enough. Or if you fuck them up enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. As you can see, the health bar doesn't last very long if you're taking concentrated fire. But don't you love killing people? Vehicular manslaughter? Oh my god. There's a ton of them out there. We need to get out of the car. Before they fucking blow it up. And I'm gonna pitch a grenade over there. Near the cars. Go! Blow it all up! 
should get my fucking AK out. Because they are obviously out in force today. Whoa, 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 whoa! Die in fire! Wow. His corpse is immune to the fire, it seems. Good for him. There's so many fucking cops in there. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Don't run away! Make it easy on me. Coming around the back, coming around the back. Hey, pallies! Hey, what are you doing? Do you really think it moves me? The blood on the screen, oh my god. I wish there was like a reason why this guy is doing this, just besides like, I hate everything. Everybody has a bad day once in a while, you know? It's gonna be okay. Cause you had a bad day, you take it one down, you sing a sad song just to turn it around. Let's go in here. Don't shoot! That's all I do, son. He had a head. And then it was replaced by a cinder block. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Need some health. Need some health. <laughs> hey! Hey! Fuck! Everybody back the fuck away from the door! Boosh! Boosh! Just run! Run from me! They're not very intent on living, are they? Indeed not. Oh, that was the head stomp. You couldn't really see it, but that is like some of the most graphic shit that I've seen. It makes me twinge on Hotline Miami, and that shit is like fucking retro graphics. This is all high def, so when you stomp somebody's head and it's like, you really feel like it. And then you get bloody boot prints from your head stomping. There was a lot of love put into this uh, hatred game. <laughs> For as hate-filled as it is, you can tell. There's a lot of love here. Hey, buddy! No more Smack him in the face. You just tell him to stop moving. Hey, excuse me. Stop moving, please. Oh, I didn't get there fast enough. It seems like the more you devastate them, like, the less they can do. They can take about three hits, and the shotgun is obviously firing way more than three fucking shell- or three bullets. Three pellets. There it is, the head stomp! Oh my god, it's fucking brutal. Ah, It's so hard to look at. I don't smile a lot when I'm playing this game. Obviously, like, the content is pretty graphic, pretty fucking brutal. But, you know, if I have a shit day at work, why not fucking come home and murder some people? You know, I'm sure every one of these fucking people has cut somebody off in traffic. And I don't much appreciate that. Police station? CLEANSED! UNICORN WOUND! HOLY SHIT! <laughs> Leave the district. Where did that gunshot come from? Doesn't matter. Bye! It's dark. It's brutal! It's edgy! Would I let my fucking kids play it? Hell no. Do I think it's worth the media hype that it's gotten? Hell no. <laughs> Is it- is it a fun game? Is it worthwhile? Is it worth 20 bucks? Maybe. Do you like isometric shooters? There's destructible environments. That's fucking a pretty cool thing in my book. As well as the, uh, the combat system. Jumping through windows and shit like that's pretty cool. Um... However, you do have people look at you funny when you play it. They're like, wow, you're, you're executing civilians and cops. And I'm like, yeah, well, you play GTA. <laughs> What's the difference if you play GTA? Dead. You are dead, dead, dead. Can opener. That's wonderful. Execution style. Execution style! Wink, 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 wink. Oh, bro. You fucking made the mistake of your life. Now I gotta come all the way down here? Fuck with you fucking people? <laughs> Whee! 
Are we having fun yet? Go in the water. Go in the water. Hey. The fuck are you doing? I guess everybody that owns a boat is rich enough to own a gun and a concealed carry license as well. And I rather like the the different level layouts that they have. It's a nice variety. From residential down to a uh, fucking marina. A little sewer action. The woods. Oh my god. Look at all these miserable dead people. Unicorn wound! <laughs> That's the most entertaining one to me. There's not a ton of executions. Maybe 10 or 12. But then again, that's pretty inventive. I don't think I could come up with 10 or 12 ways to fucking merc somebody. I bet you could go through this fucking game, and, uh... Even if you don't kill anybody at all, the cops and shit will still come. I mean, you do have to kill... kill people for the third stage. But you could probably do the first and second stage, uh... without hurting anybody. Which is, I think, the problem that most people have with this game. Fucking book it up here. I need some civilians to feast upon. Hey! Hey! Stop fucking running! Damn it. I killed him too hard. You gotta just kinda cripple him. You don't wanna kill him, just cripple him a little. Then you can execute him. Yeah, delicious. Holy shit! Police raid! Not today, fuckers. Oh, it's not gonna hurt for long, don't you worry. Nathan Explosion make it all better for you. Yeah, I guess I will murder people, huh? <laughs> Hatred makes me into, uh, something that shouldn't be named. It turns me into Lord Voldemort. That's right. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck! They're gonna try and hit me with the car. <laughs> I get that intense feeling. Jump through the window. There you go. There you go! Now we're back inside. Oh, fuck. How you doing, buddy? Kick. Death. Raid survived. Dude, get the fuck out of here! Escape using the train. ESCAPE USING PUBLIC TRANSIT! Yeah, I gotta go. Hey! You guys having a good time? Dining car? That's fancy. That's fucking fancy! Y'all are fucking fancy! Is this game deserving of all the hate that it's been getting? Definitely not. I think it has some unique mechanics combined in a unique way. And although the morals are questionable, it's not any more questionable than something like Hotline Miami 2, or GTA, or any of the other multitude of games where I kill people. <laughs> Even Call of Duty and shit, it's like, you're, you're killing people because they have a different belief. Guns don't kill people, uh-uh, I kill people with guns. How? The civilians in this game might have a different belief. Killing for the sake of killing is, uh, not cool, I suppose, but... People already fucking know that. It's like, you don't need a, a game to be your, your moral guide. And if you do, then uh, you got more problems than I can probably help you with. So, friends, this has been Hatred. I have been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you didn't hate this video too much. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.